So, Michael Rue, I, I saw this driving by and it struck me as interesting. Tell me a little bit about your uh, solar-powered bike here. Um, it's, it's something that I use to get around. It gives me completely free transportation. Um, I have, I use these solar powers in case of emergency and these will charge another battery that I've got or I can use these to charge my cell phone, my homemade tape player, or I can just use that to, the power to put into this 12 volt battery. This thing gets me all around the central Okanagan pretty much. Um, the batter, like my main batteries that I have in this bike will get me from downtown West Bay to about the airport and back. You're not setting any uh, speed records, I guess. Oh, but... no, no. Um, this thing's top speed is 30 kilometers an hour, so, but the thing that it excels at is giving me completely free transportation wherever I need to go. And, um, uh, and it, the sun shines a fair bit around here. Oh, yeah. It's, I mean, the winters aren't that sunny, but the summer is, and I mean, I don't drive in the winter because this thing uses lithium batteries and they're not good in sub-zero temperatures. They'll actually take damage if you recharge them. And this thing uses regenerative brakes, so whenever I'm going downhill or if, I, if I'm braking, it'll take that power and put it back into the battery. And it, it does have a sort of do-it-yourself kind of look yeah. to it. Well, the bike I bought from um, a place called Motor Toys, and then these solar panels I ordered online, and then I just hooked them up to where the, to where the headlights are. I never drive in the dark anyway, so I don't need the headlights. But what I've done is because these sit in front, I took my original turning indicators and I put them onto these instead. So these are now my turning indicators. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And does it kind of give you a good feeling to know that you are just yeah. using the free power of yeah. the sun? Well, yeah, it's pretty awesome. You know, like if something random happens and gas gets too expensive, that I will completely be unaffected because I can still drive around. And even if the power grid goes down for some reason, I'll be able to still have power if you had favorable conditions like sunshine you yeah, could probably right go now. on a long haul trip with using could, this yeah if i brought like a like a place to camp during the night i could easily get pretty far um obviously when it's cloudy i'm only getting 10 percent of the power that i would when it's sunny so it's i mean that it depends on that quite a bit yeah it's very neat all right well thanks for telling us about it yeah all right and thank you for watching Kelowna now